<clears throat> it's done in a very fragmented way. I took a prose poetry class and tried to work on this poem with um, Kevin Mac McElroy, and he encouraged us to put giant holes in the poem. So that's why I'm concerned about this being understood in any way. But if I read it, this is the first time I've read it. So I'm going to read it <clears throat> very slowly as an epigraph from Leonard Cohen. Across, on every hill, a star, a minaret. So many graves to fill. Oh, love, aren't you tired yet? Hmm. One, thin as a dime. Fish set out for the cat. Roof garden, water lilies afloat. She walks to the shore at midnight. Everything is slippery as eel in the marsh. Murk and maraschine of the departed. Moon over the reeds. She sits cross-legged, the posture of waiting, of winter. Her inner gaze goes to a party where the man at her table lets his surname drop, then is a dime. <coughs> Without blood, liver, or heart, he's part of the new monotony. The kind at large when nothing weighty is allowed through the door. Even those who hint loudly of pedigree are limited to lack of organs and thought. <clears throat> Human been there, done that, with coins for teeth. They lick their fingers. They bite greasy ribs. Two, matter. She changes to a limousine, sleekest of the grand vehicles, a hard capsule to swallow when she's in it. City bulbously black, cars blunder around without headlights, and all she can do is ask why. Why that? Why this total eclipse? Was darkness the first sign of dread ever? Streets vanish. Animal tails wave from a dumpster. Too much extinction, too much extinguished. Blood knots in her pelvis. Bomb number one flourishes in fluorescent green plutonium. Second nature, hers. Here's the great wheel grind to a halt. Ready to venture, is this it? This is it, she repeats. Our time has come round in our land. Four sticky appendages in grass and the snowy mountains. Foresight, hindsight, none of it matters. Three, genetics. Stuck in sloppy red oils, <coughs> these creatures remaining. Hieronymus Bosch, slumps and dream are denser dimension. Even after all that cross-eyed wisdom of the elders, Alarm blasts her from the limo. Her mind stutters. Now get up, go find those with the motherless, unfathered auras. Young men stationed at four corners of her roof garden. Not one is in denial or appears flatly soulless. Into their thoracic cavities she peers for hearts, plump enough to fit in the palm of her hand. And each of them has one. Why no roof, she thinks, when brilliance busts up the moon. All a roof can do is crush you, yells a man by the lilacs. Our whole long line, from butchers to the sad clairvoyance. Thank you.